Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing the update to the Throwback 30 Project Pan. Uh, this was created by Jessica Lee and it is a fantastic ladies collab. And basically it just um, is a way of dipping your toe into loads of other projects that maybe you didn't get a chance to take part in or maybe your schedule wouldn't allow it or you know, whatever it was. So um, she kind of creates a list. Is there a second year maybe? I'm not sure but she creates a list of projects in the previous year that she would have liked to have take, taken part in and maybe didn't get to or that others had said they'd love to have taken part in and didn't get to etc puts them into a list of 30 projects and you just take one prompt from each project and work on it so uh, update let's go uh, first up is the 12 pounds of Christmas this is in since the start of this project this is actually a year long didn't say that year long uh, 28th of July uh, to the 27th of July um, but yeah this one is in since July this is the Becca and I thought this would be such a quick <laughs> in and out kind of project but our product but it wasn't it is the Becca um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder shiny shiny top but she is empty guys she is finally done I really just focused in it and it said it because I usually just use it under my eyes but instead of just under my eyes I've been using it all over my face just to really get cracking on it uh, because one it's been in here a long time but two <laughs> I want the packaging because I'm now going to decant as much as I can of this this is the J-Cat loose powder that's an absolute nightmare to use because the packaging is horrendous on it and it's a loose product and I think the net on this might be um, a really good way to get better use out of that so that is done it's used up hurrah yay <laughs> uh next up is and uh, let me see it is the nightmare before christmas and uh you chose something that reminded you of christmas or halloween and i chose the smitten in switzerland palette because i just felt like it had a bit of a christmasy feel to it <laughs> And my goal of this is to do it no pan left behind and I have completed that I have done it um, thoughts in this palette um, some of it I love absolutely love and some of it I probably need to play with it a bit more to see um, this green here I found when I put it down it really and I Sometimes I'll set my base, sometimes I won't. It depends on what kind of eye look I'm doing. But I think that day I had set my eye base and where I put this down, there was just no budge in it. Like it was there and it wasn't going anywhere. So I found it quite hard to buff it out. So I'd need to be more careful with that the next time. Just it's about as I need to play with more. And these shades here, I don't know which of them it was, but definitely um, I noticed that those red tones kind of irritated my eyes after a few hours. Um, and when I say irritated, I mean like give a kind of a, a cold burning sensation. It's sometimes I get from shadows that have red bases to them, I suppose. Um, so yeah, and I use quite a thick um, base you know what I mean, eyeshadow base, so yeah, I don't know, but the other shades I've loved, so I mean, look at three out of what, I can't jump back, four, four, sixteen, yeah, let's go with sixteen, <laughs> um, all the rest of them I really enjoyed, to be fair, so um, I will be putting this palette away now, because for me it is quite a winter leaning palette, so it'll probably come back, or autumn even, it'll come back out in autumn, I'd say, play with some more but I'm delighted I've met my goal now there was no, no pan left behind and I got them all done I'm thrilled uh, next up is uh, rocking uh, oh no 50 food for thought a food themed uh, product and I chose the physician's formula uh, butter bronzer for 30 uses and I've used it 22 times which means I have 8 more uses to go um who was I watching? I feel like it was Anna from Maximalism Rehab. I think it was. And she was saying that, you know, this kind of pattern that's on it is supposed to be um, similar to sand dunes. And I thought, well, of course it is. That makes perfect sense. I never thought of it before. But um, yeah, I can see where she's going with that. Um, but I've been wearing it down a little bit, which I'm thrilled with. I don't, you can't probably see much there. It still looks very, but it has flattened out a little bit on the sand dunes 
<laughs> I love it. I love the thoughts of that. Um, I can see definite progress in it. But I have another eight uses to go on that. So that could be staying in and that's fine. I quite enjoy using it. And it's the time of year that I need to get more use out of it. <laughs> Mr. Whippy's going around. The ice cream man. Oh man, if only he had tacos and margaritas. By Jesus, I'd be right out there. Um, we're just going to ignore it. Maybe enjoy the background music. Set the ambience. Um, this is in the shade just bronze or 0001 it says. Uh, it's a it's a lighter shade for me. This is very much winter, spring, autumn kind of shade. So um, yeah, it, it's running out of time for me to use if you know what I mean. It'll be obsolete. Uh, next up, rocking around the Christmas tree, reminds you of a Christmas song, and I had chosen Chicken Steven, Snow is Falling, um, and that would lead me to a white product, and I chose the um, Boots Multibiotic Moisturiser, and um, I completely finished it. Hurrah! It took me 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32, 32 times uh, to use it to completion. Uh, I had used it a little bit before that, but within this project, uh, 32 uses, I quite enjoyed it. And it's um, it's not expensive, it's quite affordable. So I would consider repurchasing that one, actually. It's the first of this Boots Ingredients range from that I've actually would consider repurchasing. The rest of them so far have been bits of, bit of a fail for me. But this one, yeah, I liked it. Because, to me, moisturiser is very much a last step and I have already used my actives and my more intense kind of stuff. So a moisturiser for me just needs to do the bare minimum. Just give me hydration and lock everything in place for the night. Um, so I don't mind not spending a fortune on it. So yeah, liked that. Done. Hi. Yay. Uh, next up is Skin is Ana. That's a skincare item. And I chose the Inky List uh, Caffeine Eye Cream. Um, let's see if we can kind of squish it down. I reckon, yeah, she's 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 getting low. She's down to about there, I reckon. Um, but look at it; it's an eye cream, so that could be another three months use. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, what do I think of this? It's fine. Um, my only reason that I use eye creams is I find a great hydration especially when you're doing makeup that you know concealer and stuff like that just doesn't um look as dry or cake here that when I'm using this sorry I'm looking at all the kids it's like the pipe piper out there's like ice cream you'd swear they never had it in their life <laughs> um but I've used this 19 times and I've used 0.65 of product so that is that one. So now for the roll-ins, and I am going to roll in quite a bit, more than I've rolled out, because, what did I roll out? One, two, three, is that right? Four, all right, okay, I did roll out quite a lot. Um, I just need to pick up the pace of this project because I am only at 15 products in the project at the moment, you know, having done or still in use. Um, and I just feel like I need to, if I want to meet my goal for July, I need to, Pick it up a notch. So, first and foremost coming in is Seven Deadly Pans. And I chose Lust. And for Lust, I chose um, Lace, uh, which is, sorry, Pure. This is from Makeup Obsession. It is a baking powder called the Pure Bake Baking Powder in Lace. Sorry. I'm all a foster. It's the ice cream. Um... I had this turned the right way and of course I had it upside down there. Um, I think I am about here. See what this green line is here. Quite a bit of product. Uh, this is a nice enough product. It's nothing revolutionary. Um, but I have this down for 30 uses because it's a Project 30. Look at it. Radical. Um, next up is Around the World, so a flag or maiden label etc and I have chosen um, Smashbox and it is made in the US of A and I have four of these little sachets of primer uh, samples that I want to use up. So four of those to be used, I suppose there's probably what, two or three uses in each, maybe more even because I don't use an awful lot of primer. They're all photo finish. I don't know, is this one the new photo finish kind of? It's got a bit more of a purple kind of 
theme to it. I suppose they changed it back to but anyway, four of those and I want to use them up. Uh, next up is Beauty A to Z and I have a letter generator and it came up with the letter P. So I have chosen um, the Hydrate and Tint um, Balm and it is from PS which is the brand, the home brand for Primark or Pennies. And it is just a very slightly tinted balm. I don't know if you leave them, you will see it maybe, very slightly tinted. So um, that is coming in and I want to use it up. So there isn't a whole lot left in it, but it's been in my collection now for over a year. It still smells good, it has that lovely vanilla kind of cupcakey smell that I love. Um, so that is to use to completion. Uh, next up is Birthstone Beauty. Uh, I'm February and apparently that is an amethyst. Now, this one I found peculiar because to me an amethyst is like a purpley shade, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I am choosing, choosing to use the Laura Mer Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Colour in Amethyst. I hope you can see there, so it's this shade here, which doesn't look any bit purple to me, but hey, you know, amethyst is what it says. And I actually have two of these, so just these two shades here I'm going to be using up to completion. So, um... I've never used a Laura Mercier Carrier 6. I'm excited to see what I think. So those two are coming in. And finally, uh, Budget Beauty, which is, and I chose, sorry, the Elf Putty Eye Primer. If you can see it. I don't know. Elf has always struggles to, to uh, focus on me for some reason. And I have this in for 30 uses. I'm really struggling lately to use products that aren't in project pens. I know that sounds weird. Maybe it doesn't, maybe you understand completely. Um, but I just find if it's not in a project, I'm reluctant to, to reach for it. And I really love this eye primer and I want to use it. So it's coming into a project. And it's coming in for 30 uses. Et voila. So that brings me up to 20 products. So next month again, I might roll in another five and same the month after because I need to get crack a lack and this needs two. I want to meet my goal. I want to get the 30 items. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's my update for today. How are you getting on? Are you doing well with this project? Are you doing not so well? Um, are you like me? Are you in total panic mode? I'm going, Jesus, I better get the... Stop swearing around. Better get the lid out of my arse, we would say. <laughs> and uh, get moving on it because, yeah, it needs to be completed. But that is it for today's update. I hope you're all doing well out there. I know we are living in turbulent times and it feels like we've been living in those times now for quite a long time and it's hard to sustain that level of alertness and um, anxiety and panic you know all these things so be kind to yourself and look after yourself and do some self-care no matter what it is you know what I mean if it works for you it doesn't hurt anyone else, then do it. Um, I've been out in the garden a lot lately. Uh, myself and my hubby, we were uh, painting the deck in yesterday. And it just, it's amazing what a coat of paint does, guys. Good God. Um, I am crippled today after it. But you know what? I sat out there this morning in the sun and it was just beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I really and truly do. And I will hopefully chat you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sloan.